Welcome to the planning, prepping, and painting process of the Black Lives Matter mural 2.0. This mural is located in Seattle's Capitol Hill area on 10th Street and Pine. On 10th <laughs> Avenue? Is it Avenue or Street? Oh, it's 10th Avenue. Okay, okay. It was created by the artists of Vivid Matter Collective, a grassroots art group that was born on June 11th, 2020, when we first made it. The three leading pioneers are Takiya Ward, Joey Nix, and Jaffe Witty. I'm just grateful that I opened my DMs that day because I had one from Takiya inviting me to be a part of this radical artistic movement with her and the other artists that she contacted. Some of you all might know the story. If you don't, check my IG. <laughs> but like all great things, it's full of the good and the bad. After a series of historic, iconic, and viral moments of this digital 2020, the Black Lives Matter mural 1.0 received international attention and support. At the end of the day, it wouldn't have been possible without the advocates, activists, and allies at CHOP. My name is Aramis Octavia Hamer, and this is the art journey through my eyes. The city of Seattle contacted VMC with the desire to collaborate in order to make the mural a permanent Seattle landmark. Office of Arts and Culture was brought on board, helping us coordinate and developing contracts to make sure that the artists were financially compensated for our work. After the damage it experienced from unwanted interventions, <clears throat> the best option in preserving the mural was to just grind the surface smooth and completely start from scratch. Today, we begin the grinding process. Water gets into the sides, and then when it freezes and thaws, it starts lifting the base. But thank you guys so much. We're here yeah. now. What? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Dobby, for this real. I'm my loud mouth. I'm coming. Even, it's cooler, what? even if the paint ever wears out, the grinding marks of every letter will always be here. Yeah. Thanks. For it to be etched in stone is, is, it is. pretty, it's it's pretty it's historic. Stone. Yeah, that's dope. This project would not exist without the persistence and support of Davi Nsiko, the SDOT mural specialist. He was absolutely phenomenal. Personally, I was fed up with the drama, politics, and all the emotions around this mural. But after a public apology from SDOT leadership regarding the mishandling of the original mural preservation, we decided to move forward in making this a permanent piece of art, serving as a reminder to the world that Black lives do, in fact, matter. I painted the letter V. Some artists selected their letter and some were assigned by Takia. Considering I almost missed the message, I was so happy to be given this letter that would later send me down a road encouraging others to vote. I felt really melancholy to watch the letters fade away into dust. But Davi, being the incredible guy that he is, took the time to collect the remains of each of our letters. This was extra special considering Angelina's letter the A in black. She added her mother's ashes in the paint of the original Black Lives Matter mural. It was important to Davi to honor and respect this sacred moment. What a guy. The letters are all gone. Next is the power wash. Then it'll be ready for a fresh coat of paint. Yes. Do I, let me let me make sure I have your cell. Um, where did I put my phone? Your girl needs to get some gas. I feel like when people park this close to my car, they are asking to get a little tap, get a little bump. <laughs> I'm just saying. You lucky I got the rear view cami. Well. We just finished up. Y'all, that is wild. I'm leaving the mural now. Ooh, it's just a whole lot of feels. Oh, I can go this way. A whole lot of feels. So I'm super grateful. I'm grateful that the piece is still staying. To tell y'all the truth, 
I was really one of the people in the collective who was like, yeah, nah, <laughs> we could be done with this. Over it and done. Um, there's just been so many ups and downs throughout this journey. So many people involved, just making it really not an enjoyable experience. But at the end of the day, the message is what matters. The people is what matters and you know, we did we did it for them. We we did it for y'all, you know. Um, and even more specifically for the lives that have been lost and to just acknowledge that black lives do matter. So it was like, okay, at the end of the day, if I'm keeping the message at the forefront, then this piece of work needs to stay. So I'm happy that it did. Now that the process is underway, now that the sun is shining and I saw the artists again, T-Dub was out there. She is the lead organizer of, of Vivid Matter Collective and the person who brought us all together. So it always just warms my heart seeing all the artists and just remembering how this all came about. Now it's time to select our paints and other materials. This project was fully funded by the city of Seattle. Good morning, y'all. What's good? Good morning. What's up, man? How you doing? Just been up painting. You know, trying to like make sure my snake doesn't escape. <laughs> I was telling her we gonna have a a, a boat party. Snake? Yeah, I have a boat <laughs> on the boat. Look at your face. It's like a cat. It's, it's like a cat. That thing is tight. <laughs> Look at the buckets. We ready. This is your paint shopping spree. Go ahead. You got 30 seconds to fill your bucket. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, like for real? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, I love a, I love a good angle brush. Now this is, are we just getting these for in general? <laughs> or? <laughs> oh, we don't have anything in the lot. Uh, who's L? Oh, y'all, this rain is not playing. There's some paint Due to classic rainy Seattle, we had to push back the start date. Mother Earth eventually smiled on us. Today, we begin the re-outline and priming process. Well, we out here, the work is about to begin for now. Just sipping a little coffee, hanging out with Ari. Sorry, this is one of the artists here. How you feel? How you feeling, Ari? I'm feeling blessed, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> feeling blessed. We're about to get started, you know? Let's get it going. I'm ready. You know, ready? I don't know what these guys are doing, but it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> now, are you, um, what you got in, what you got in mind for your design? Is yours uh, the same? Or are you switching it up? It's the same, but an improvement, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just boss it up, bless it up, make it more radiant, more shine, more more light for the people. Okay, you said bless it up. I am so here for that, yes. Know. All right. Ari and I are just two in a 15 artist collective. I'll introduce you to more artists throughout the video. Guys over there getting a strategy. Jaffe and Joey are the original sign designers that made the letter so clean and crisp. They're here again, helping us today. Like it's real. Get to get to squats in. <laughs> get to squats. You gotta like get, don't forget lunges. Right, right, for real. Get your first trip on there. Get your It 
was so cathartic to put those first coats of paint down. I just thought of all the meetings, emails, and Zoom calls that brought us to this moment. I was so happy that all the hard work to make this possible did not go in vain. The team helped to apply a salt-like substance to add traction and grip to the paint surface. We don't want nobody out there slipping. Now, I had some cooling right here when it... I really can't express enough how much of a collaborative effort this entire project was. Jason Huff of Office of Arts and Culture was there helping us out. There were many, many volunteers and friends that came to help as well. We out, y'all. The progress has begun. We are putting on the base layer for the Black Lives Matter mural. We got the B, the L, the A, the C, the K in there. Still working on more progress. I'm gonna show y'all how it's coming along. We took shifts in priming the letters. Some of us came in the morning and others in the afternoon. But every shift, <laughs> it was a pain getting in those cracks, honey. Take our word on it. We kept the assembly line going. Joey and Jaffe would outline a letter and we followed up with the paint until eventually the priming was complete. Good morning, Tink. We are back out in the streets, y'all. Day two, we are getting the second coat on for the Black Lives Matter mural. And um, we're here. You know, Mother Nature is doing her thing. It's foggy today, unfortunately, but we got uh, Davi out there with the flame torch so we can dry this paint super fast and get it done. So we got the artists doing doing their things. We got Pear Bear. <laughs> oh Pear Bear in the house. Your what fell out? Oh my curl. You are super cute, adorable. I have to show them your pants. Yes. Okay, can we talk about the mama's gun? Please. It's there, it's, ooh, yeah. I'm here for the yoni and anything you can do I can do bleeding hello hello <laughs> let them let them know food all right y'all we gonna check back in in just a little bit individual Instagrams for because each artist did a different letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you the one in charge of the Vivid Matter? No, I'm one of the artists. I painted the, the V. The v he had a chains over there. Um, but Takiya Ward teed up customs on Instagram. She's the one who like brought us all together and it's like the, the lead lake. Yep. Yeah. Officially getting some color on them. Moses, you want to say hey? Tell them what to do. Let them know what uh, what letter you working on. M. You doing the M? Yes. Okay. What you got in mind for your design? 
Uh, actually, I have it right here. Ooh, snaps. Oh, snaps. Oh, snaps. Oh, snaps. See, stay, snap. stay ready. Look, stay ready so you don't got to get ready. <laughs> exactly. He's ready. Stay ready. Okay. Stay ready. Okay. Oh, and this is, oh, there's some more in there. Well, this is the embellishment I did on all my prints. Oh. So when oh. I did my prints, I embellished each one. See, you're next level. So that people would be like, so they, Are there still more available? There's none. I sold wow. out in half a week. Wow. In a couple of days. That's love. That's love. And I, and I also had like a, a little animation that showed. Oh, all wow. One, so you could see them like like da, 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 and yeah moving around to it. and so it was like each one's embellished mm. each one's all an actual art piece it's a monoprint and super a unique yeah and i also included a thank you note and most of them i include a little polaroid mm. a tiny polaroid oh, from my studio look i should have bought one <laughs> look now i want one <laughs> Well, I you mean, know, next round. Right, next round we we can do that. Let the people know um, where they can find you online or Instagram. Oh, yeah. you can find me uh, on Instagram, Moses underscore Sun. Uh, my website is Moses Sun S U N Moses Sun S U N dot Studio. There we go. Okay, and I'm a, I'm gonna put it up on the screen too for folks yeah. so they'll they'll have that. And as for my shop right now, it's it's just got that one print that's sold out. But I was doing the stock stocking it with limited edition prints okay. and other items. Some evergreen stuff, you know, but I really like to personalize everything. So nice. And you will always get a bonus with me. Okay, yes. And the po that's a good idea. That's Look, the thing. You always I'm, get a bonus. I might have to borrow that. Can you I can I borrow the Polaroid it. thing? I think that's I so unique. You mind holding that? No, Hold no, no. that while I just chalk this out. Is it running? Yeah, I think okay. so. That that red dot's on there? The red dot is on there. Okay. I got you. I think you're live. You're live and in action. This part. Eyeball it. You know. Really king. Look at the 
chains in here. It's a reminder. Liberation. Let's break them. Let's get free. How you doing? Pretty good. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm just like I'm randomly talking to myself. I have my camera set up here, so. I, I, I was gonna say hi, I was like I don't want to run. Yeah, I'm just yeah. Casting or anything. Yeah, no, it's all good. Um. Okay. Well, 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 you I'm glad that, that it came back. Yeah. That's true. I think honestly coming up here and seeing like things kind of return to some normality. Or, like, See that little bit? That's my hair. We gonna keep that in there, a piece of me. <laughs> a piece of me in there for the mm -hmm. community. It's like we have time, but we don't have time. It's yeah, weird. well I'm coming back tomorrow too. Me too. Oh, yeah. Awesome. yeah, yeah. I'm Aramis. Yeah. What is it, John? Josh. Oh, Josh. Hey, Josh. <laughs> I love your mask. I know, I thought it was Josh. It's the mask. <laughs> right. Thank you. How is yours going? Well, it's coming along good. Have extra day. It's gonna be here forever. Exactly. So it's like I'm kind of putting five coats yeah, on. <laughs> Ooh, I'm loving this. Yes. Rainbow over here. <laughs> I love it. This time we were approaching midday fatigue. The amount of time and energy it takes to paint a mural is real. It can be taxing on your body, your mind, your joints, everything. A shout out to all the volunteers, everybody who came out to help. Uh, we had catering that was provided for free. We had herbal tea that was given to us. So many things were donated. All the snacks that you see here was donated by phenomenal community members. So we can't thank you all enough. It is day two, y'all. Making a lot of progress. So we gotta put, we got a plane going by. We gotta put three layers of paint down so that there's just tons of layers for the longevity of the piece. So that's why it's just taking us a minute. I'll be back out here tomorrow, putting some more coats on and just get hella detail with it. Like, why not? We got the time, we got the resources. It's gonna be here for years to come. So I want it to look really nice. So let's hop back in. Good morning. <laughs> we are back at the mural on site, day three. Yeah, I was uh, a part of the crew who thought that this wouldn't take three days, but here we are three days later. <laughs> The weather has really been playing with us. At the end of the day, I'm just grateful that it's not raining, but it's been really foggy, so it's just been super moist out here, which has been giving us a run for the money. 
for these layers to dry. But my layers were dry from last night. I wrapped up at around five, so I'm back at it. Uh, it's around 11 a.m. now. It is Saturday, October 3rd. <laughs> no, no one knows what day it is. So yeah, let's hop back into it. final day everyone is just about complete I say just about because we all collectively painted the eye and we all had our own individual section so some of the artists like myself <laughs> did not finish the eye so we did come out a few days later when the weather was able to cooperate and now I present to you the final Black Lives Matter mural 2.0 Super grateful for Dip Sauce coming through with the drip with these incredible aerial shots. He also recorded some behind the scenes footage of us on site while we were painting the mural. So make sure you all check out the Vivid Matter Collective and his account as well. We had the privilege and honor of having Zorn B. Taylor take the behind the scenes photos for this project. Stay tuned for those photos. Thank you. Thank you. I know that I'm gonna leave somebody out, but I am gonna attempt this thank you anyway because I think it is so important. And I'm beyond grateful for everybody who was a part of this project and made it possible, first and foremost, to Takia Ward for bringing us all together for this historic and iconic moment. We all would have not been here without her. We're super grateful for Joey and Jaffe as well for literally writing the blueprint for the Black Lives Matter. Uh, many thanks to Office of Arts and Culture, specifically Jason Huff, who was out there on his hands and knees helping us paint just as much as all the volunteers and artists. So many thanks to the Seattle Department of Transportation. Huge, huge thank you to Davi Cinco for his persistence and dedication, his hard work, his caring heart and compassion throughout this entire duration of the project. So many thanks to all the artists who was involved, all 15 of us, y'all. So much love to Vivid matter collective through all the emails and meetings and drama online <laughs> we made it work and uh and we're here we're here i'm beyond grateful so many thanks to all our family friends community members volunteers all of the love from you all we're so so grateful uh, personally i would like to thank my patrons who are always coming through for me holding me down on a long-term basis some of my patrons came out to help us paint so a special shout out to nalisha Thank you so much for being there for us. And of course, a big, big thank you to my phenomenal, incredible, supportive, and loving husband, James Thompson Jr. I could not do what I do without you. Thank you all so much. And remember, Black Lives Matter, period, boo-boo. Oh, 
cover cover that up boom wow like it never happened boom Right, sabotages Black Lives Matter mural.